The Beatitudes are a step-by-step -step yoga. They are a living practice. That practice aims at the restoration of the soul with the divine, a correction of mind, of breath, of emotion, of purpose, of action, so that that which flows through us is that which really fulfills us. It is a yoga. Of the roughly 10 steps of the Beatitudes, it is impossible to understand any one of them by pulling it out. They're not meant to be a platitude that you write or quote. You can't understand the fifth one if you don't get the fourth one. They are steps. They are indeed a yoga, a living practice that transforms the heart, the mind, the soul, shifts our identity of selfhood from the ego increasingly toward what Joshua refers to as Christ mind. The Beatitudes are the yoga of Christ. Pure and simple. They were taught by Joshua directly to a certain core of his disciples, friends, both male and female. And they were given to those who had demonstrated a willingness to put into practice what he had previously taught them with what has come to be the Lord's Prayer. The Beatitudes were then the next step. Once you get what it means to use prayer to attune to the flow of the Divine, now he begins a step-by-step -step process, a teaching of a yoga, designed to establish your reality in the luminous sphere of the heart, to establish an even deeper feeling flow of breath as the bridge between your being and the realm of spirit or the divine begins to be deepened, it begins to be strengthened, and also activates deeper levels of purification. Amen. 